Hello everyone, my name is Richie and welcome back to another video. Today we are having a look at the new update for West Somerset Railway. Now, Dovetail mentioned in the December roadmap that they were going to be giving this route a major overhaul with a new steam timetable and adding the TSW4 features and all the Todd 4 lighting and stuff. So, I'm going to jump straight in and we're going to have a look at what we've been given. Let's uh, go down to the route, go through the massive collection I've got here so oh interestingly straight off the bat we've got many more services I did a video the other day um, as like a before and I'm gonna do an after now that this updates out um, of the of the route so beforehand I know that there was 39 services 36 services so it's nice to see a massive increase in the service count so let's see what we've got so we've got two so that's the original 39 the diesel gala and then we've got the steam gun that Hold on, let me try that again. The Steam Gala <laughs> with uh, 116 services. Let's see what we've got. Oh, okay. So we've got the Class of 9 still, and we've got the 47. We've got the Flying Scotsman. Beautiful. The 4F, I've never driven that, actually. I've got Peak Forest, but I, I'm not massive on shunting, so I've not really given that a go. And we've got the 6P. Is that right? Is that how you say that? Um... And we've got the 8F, which are, which are from Peak Forest as well. Um, interestingly, we've got a 150. How come we've got a 150? Taunton sh Shuttle. I might have to give them a go. Not today, but I might have to give them a go off camera because... Uh, Norton. Oh, is that the extension they were on about? Right, I'll have to give that a go. I want to do a quick run. In what, well, I say a quick run. They're about an hour and a half. Um, I, I did find that when with the original version of this, I, I struggled to to get along with it because the services are really long and they're also really slow. So that might be different with steam traction because you know steam railways are just are just cool. So I think I'm going to go in the Jubilee. Oh, we've got all the um, the rivet ones, haven't we? So let's have a look. Let's go in the standard. What route? What sort of services have we got? Oh, we've got shorts. Oh, we've got... Okay, nice. It, it's a bit more broken down. Oh, I like that. So we've got a few full line runs. And we've got um, a Bishops to Williton. That's nice, yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we've got... I think they're just like one or two services broken up, which is... I actually prefer that because I really can't do a full line run. So perhaps they know that. All right, so let's jump into that one. I like the look of that. 34 minutes. Right, here we are at Bishop's, and first thing I've got to say, the route just looks incredible. Let's have a look at the route map. Has it changed? No, the route map's not changed all that much. They did say there was going to be an extension down here, but... What's that? Is that a HST? It looks like it. Might have to have a little look down there. Anyway, let's get ourselves set up. Let's open the doors. I feel like this is going to be quite cool, actually forwards everything's where it needs to be uh, we'll open that before we set off beautiful two carriages as well so it's going to be a bit of a a bit of light work nice yeah I'm happy with that look at this it actually looks so much better like I say I did I did a recording on it the other day um, I did like a half half the line down and then I went back up the line um, and I'm going to do like the second part to that after I've done this first look. Um, and instantly I can just tell it looks so much better. Looks incredible. See, it looks like it's a brand new route. And perhaps that's what they're going for with this to try and, you know, boost some sales on it. Because I think now that this is going to be here with quite a substantial timetable as well, I feel like more people might be interested in it. Beautiful. What are we? South Australia. Shout out to uh, a fellow Australian train sim player. You know who you are. <laughs> right, I'm going to get the door shut because it's going to take me quite a while to get up to speed. Uh, let's open that up. Cylinder cocks are open. Let's get going. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, wheel spin. Try again. Right. Whee! <laughs> 
beautiful. Oh, who doesn't love a steam train? Let's get the cylinder cocks shut. Let's get all. Oh, okay. Let's uh, get a, a nice overhead shot. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, I'm a fan of this. This has instantly took, caught my attention. I feel like I'll be able to play the route much more now with this because it's it's steam trains. Steam trains are awesome. All right, I need to remember me. Oh, honk! I scared the life out of me. Right, I'm gonna fade my cat. It looks like they've improved the scenery as well, which is a very welcome change. I need to make sure I don't speed too much. Let's get up to line speed. Put this down to about 55 regulator. Not regulator, uh, reverser. Go on. Oh, it's such a shame that I'm too young to remember the Steam days because I feel like I feel like people that lived in the Steam days just didn't appreciate it as much. But when Steam trains ruled the main lines, oh, it must have been a fantastic time. I mean, soot would have been everywhere and your clothes would have been dirty, but just that. Beautiful. I'm a massive fan of that. Nice little solar fan. See, I think that's new. That weren't there before. See, it might have been, but because, like, before Todd 4 gets added in to the older routes, the older routes are very dark. Like, there's a lot of shadows. So there's some scenery that you might miss. But then again, I do remember saying in that video that it's going to be coming out in a couple of days that the scenery needed a bit of, a, a bit of an overhaul. And it looks like it's, it's had that, to be fair. Instantly, I must say, the scenery's better, because I don't remember getting stuck in trees. Lovely. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go as far as Crocombe. Just one stop down the line, and then I'm, I'm interested to see what these 150 service is about. I'm, I'm really intrigued by them. I think I'm going to jump in to do a service on a 150 after I've done this. Um, maybe, maybe jump into a flying Scotsman. We'll see. We'll see what we're like for time. Yeah. I must admit the scenery is looking a much better than what what it did. nice yeah do you know what i'm gonna say if you don't have this route already i think you should consider getting it it's only 20 quid which compared to newer routes when they're about 30 quid now i know some of the shorter ones are about 25 but when a stand when standard route price is 30 quid oh no my controller is gonna die <laughs> oh no this is gonna be a disaster um it'll be all right for another i think it'll be all right for the duration of this video hopefully we'll see what happens um and for those of you that don't know, I play on PS5, so there you go. There's your little insight into that. Anyway, what was I saying? I was, I've, I've lost track. <laughs> track, get it. <laughs> I'm not funny. Um, yeah, if you've not got this route, I think you should pick it up because it's, it's on the cheaper side of routes and you get quite a substantial timetable. And with this overhaul, I instantly f think it's better just because the services are broken up by the looks of things and you get little shuttle services. I want, I'm really intrigued to see what they're about. It's still a little bit slow, but I'd much rather go 25 mile an hour for an hour and a half in a steam train than I would a diesel. Because I feel like if I'm going to do a diesel run, I want to do it like, like a BR diesel run. I'm going to do... Oh yeah, I need to put the reverser down, don't I? Well, I don't, because I'm not really going that fast. I think having the, the reverser a bit higher helps you maintain your speed a bit more at lower speeds. It's kind of like your gears in a car, and it your you 75% reverser is first gear, and then I think I'm in about third gear now. So if you're rolling through your rush hour traffic, you wouldn't be in fifth gear, would you? You'd be in third, and maybe slow, 
uh, maybe a second if you go in slow. Um, yeah, I think I think you should pick this up definitely because it's it's a well a very well done update. If that makes sense. Yeah, even even the scenery, even the scenery looks no, notably better. The distant scenery is better as well. It's a bit questionable over there, but you're not going to go over there, are you? I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's get, let's do a live photo mode shot for the thumbnail. So we're going to do, oh, do we do it there? Yeah, I think we, we'll do it there. Nice, look at that. Field of view, up to 35. Let's get a bit of a rotation on it. Let's get a bit of an angle on it as well. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, get the steam in there as well. Beautiful. Let's get the focal point to wherever it needs to be. Well, that's a bit too much. Hold on. 20%. Exposure. Let's underexpose it to make it a little bit darker. But let's increase the saturation to make them colours pop. Uh, vignette. I quite, I'm quite fond of a vignette, but that's a little bit dark for my liking. So maybe put it on f back onto 50. Brightness. Beautiful. Nice. I'm happy with that. Let's go. So we're 1.7 miles from Crocom. Go on, lad. I must admit, when I'm driving the steam trains, I like this angle, but it's a little bit loud. My microphone's not the best. I, I am in the process of upgrading that. Uh, I'm currently using like a standard work headset. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna, I did have a proper headset, but I, I don't know where it is, uh, to be brutally honest. And I'm actually not long gonna be moving house, so there's a lot of stuff just packed up. So I need to delve in there and see if it's, see if it's in there somewhere. Yeah, even the, even the distance scenery of the trees, have updated all that. It weren't like that before. Oh, yeah, I've got a bridge. Let's have a look. What's this like for... Oh, oh, hold on a minute. I've just jumped straight in. Oh, look at this. If I can time that right over this bridge. Yeah, let's have that there. Let's have, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, do you know what? I think if this tree weren't in the way... Nah, hold on. Not a fan of that. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, look at that! Look at oh, that's beautiful. Let's let's rotate it a little bit. Do you know what that needs? That needs a little bit more field of view. A bit more. A bit less. A bit more rotation. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I love that. Beautiful. Oh, I've actually opened the doors. Oh dear, I've opened the doors. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Um, go on, you shovel that invisible coal. Go on, get it in. What are we going to call him? Bill. Bill the coal man. Oh, you're putting your shovel down? Go on, Bill, you deserve a rest. Yeah, go on, sh go on, good lad. Oh, do you know what? I'm too busy fantasizing about Bill. I need to slow down. Well, I don't because we're still a good half mile away and we're rolling at 25. Honk. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. I think this is very impressive. You can definitely just see, like, from playing it two days ago to now, it just feels like a whole new route. I feel like genuinely this could pass as a new route and people would would lap it up because it is just really cool. I'm impressed. I am. They've done a solid job. And it makes me think that they should do this to a lot more routes. There's a lot of, a lot of routes now that have got so much more rolling stock that could be put onto them. Like a lot of German routes, for example. And just, just simply... It's probably not simple, but like... A simple overhaul goes a long way and I can imagine that doing an overhaul to a route like this probably doesn't take as long as making a route but I don't know I don't know 
definitely think they should do a few more routes because it'll boost it'll boost sales as well I think I'm no marketing genius right let's get stopped here let all these people on yeah right I'm impressed with that first little bit of steam action and I must admit I'm impressed yeah they've done a stellar job <clears throat> so I'm gonna jump into a 150 and I'm gonna have a look at one of them services see what they're about and then I probably should I ought to look at the top of the the northern end of the line at Minehead so I might do that first right I've had a change of plan so since changing services I thought I'm gonna just stick to the steam stuff for this first look and I'm gonna do one of the shunter services in a separate video because I feel like they warrant their own sort of thing because well they're different the whole thing to me was gonna be steam so I'll have a look at that separately I'm gonna do this to Dunster maybe blue Mountain, probably just a Dunster just to have a look at this north end of the line and then like I said I'm gonna be doing a before and after video which will go into a bit more depth for the different stations and scenery so let's get set up and let's have a quick look up round Minehead I think they said there's gonna be a few scenery improvements to to Minehead again we'll leave that off that's all fine oh didn't notice this there's a nice little 101 what a derpy looking train <laughs> oh dear I'm looking forward to the 104 coming out though that'll be quite cool um, this is interesting these these buildings here I don't recognize these I think these are new that's quite nice let's have a look at that I must admit yeah I'm, I'm thinking they've done a massive change to the scenery because again you couldn't see that far over there and oh wow look at that okay so initially the water didn't look that good but that looks much better that looks so much better look at that you can tell that you're on the on the uh on the seafront here nice yeah i'm impressed yeah i like that and they've got a lot of static stock as well beautiful yeah nice right let's get going to Dunster so I'll go as far as Dunster and then that'll be my first look done I've just been trying to figure out for ages why I'm not moving anywhere it might help if I turn my large ejector to open there we go I've just spent the whole minute thinking what am I doing wrong it's probably not a minute more like 20 seconds but it felt like it Do you know when you realize you're doing something wrong and you spend ages trying to figure it out and you think you've been doing it for too long anyway I'm waffling again. Go on. Go on, son. <laughs> right, let's get down. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to 25. Take, turn off the regulator just a tiny bit. Oh, we've got a nice little... Um, I thought it was a brake van. It's not a uh, wagon. get a bit more speed up yeah nice I like they've dotted, dotted a bit of scenery around adds a bit more life to it now this is the cool thing imagine you pulled up in up here in your Fiat Punto nice I'd be very happy if I stop usually when you stop at these sorts of things they're a bit of a nuisance but I say these sorts of things, level crossings, right. But if a steam train's going past, I'm not whinging. It's alright, you can wait. Look at this absolute ape of a car. <laughs> right, I'm going to get in someone's way. I feel like I'm annoying someone. You're going to beep at me, huh? Where are you? Can't see you in your car. Eh, uh, listen, no need for that attitude. Go on. Get out my sight. Yeah, it definitely looks like they've, they've improved the scenery. Even the distant scenery, like I've said before, it's much better. Like, even over there, that's much better than what it was before. So much better. I tell you what, Dovetail, you've done a stellar job here. I really think you should... You should uh, upgrade some more routes. Alright, so we're having a little bit of a salt. So it's still quite a slow route. But because it's steam trains, I feel like it's a bit more acceptable. 
I feel like it's a bit more manageable. And I, this service is two hours long, and I certainly wouldn't be able to do that. But I'm, I like that some of the route, uh, some of the services are split up. It makes life a bit easier, and it makes it a bit more enticing. It kind of it gives it, it gives it a bit more of a incentive to give it a go because you can do a portion of it, come back to it later on. Um, if you're anything like me, you don't have that much of an attention span, so services like that breaking it up kind of giving people the option to do a full line run and then break it up as well good choice good choice solid choice I, I, I respect it right there we go let's get into Dunster I know it's quite a long platform this one so make sure we uh, make sure we give it a good stop Let's close them down. Make it slow down a bit faster. Nice. Right, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think they've done really well there. Just by starting at the bottom and the top of the line. Not even, you know, static stock around. They've done really well. So, yeah, dovetail, well done. Um, I'm, I'm quite a good fan. Quite a big fan of this. Um, but, yeah, like I say, uh, I... Um, I did do a before video with before we got the update. I did a quick, I say quick, like I did a full line run pretty much. Uh, so I'm going to jump onto that and do the after portion and compare the two. That's where I'll go into more about you know comparing the stations along the route and you know mainly looking at the previous timetable. That's the thing I'm comparing. This was mainly a first look at the new timetable. So, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. But yeah, thank you for watching this first look. Um, if you've got any suggestions or if you want to see any more content on this, like I say, I'm doing the one of the sprinter runs um, separately as well, then yeah, keep an eye out for that. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for some more waffling. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.